Hi, my name is Sana and welcome to Sweet Night. In today's video, I want to talk about the controversy surrounding French film Cuties. Cuties is about an 11 year old Muslim Senegalese girl who moves to France and um, learns about this twerk team that are there, which is comprised of other 11 year olds, and she starts to like fall for and enjoy their free spirited nature. The film actually came out at the beginning of the year at Sundance, where it won the Directing Jury Award for the film script. But it's getting controversy now because Netflix are planning to release this movie on September 9th, but the post and synopsis they chose originally were provocative and sexualizing young girls. I agree that the original poster and like synopsis was sexualizing young girls because it was saying how Amy, the main character, was exploring her femininity, but that isn't something I think an 11 year old has the capacity to do. I feel like both the poster and the synopsis were intentionally gimmicky and provocative um, on Netflix part in order to get attention to the movie and has now worked at their disservice. Because people became so outraged with this on social media, um, Netflix did end up changing the synopsis um, but the questions about the over-sexualization of young people in media and the way that hijabis are always portrayed as oppressed still remain. The director of the film, Maimouna Ducre, decided to make the film after she saw a group of young girls da dancing quite provocatively at a party and it shocked her. So she decided to do research about how young girls saw themselves in society. And then with that research, she made the film Cuties. One argument I saw online is that if she had so much research and like, um, I guess footage, why didn't she make a documentary as opposed to a film, but a lot of film and filmmakers use real life experiences to um, motivate their fictional stories. Uh, Maimuna's last short film that was also at Sundance was based on her own experiences with polyamory. Also a film I recently watched called Whiplash is based on the director's own experience at a prestigious music school and like an overzealous and aggressive conductor. So it's very common for directors to use real life experiences and incidences to inform their, right, their creative process. Also people tend to find films more palatable to documentaries primarily because the main point of a film is to entertain. And as Maimuna's main uh, intention was to showcase how young people feel in society and the problems with that, um, a film might have been the best way to do that. There was also discussion around why the parents of these actresses let them be in this movie and take on such a mature role. And I'm not really sure how to deal with this like criticism. I googled child actors in mature roles and there's actually quite a long list of child actors who did take on mature roles. But that doesn't necessarily justify them doing that. There are a good amount of actors, child actors, who are able to take on like, a professional role and separate from themselves. And there's others who are kind of forced into it by their parents and um, aren't necessarily able to separate themselves from the characters so in order to get children to act in these roles is you would need to put safeguards in place for children to be taught um maybe like professionalism in the sense in order how to separate themselves from the characters um and the reality and also if they to really find out if they actually want to be there and if they're um, able to take on such a heavy mature role but I don't think it's fair to say that children can't take on mature roles and they can never be depicted in that way. Some people suggested that the film should have been made of older actors which is something that's commonly done like uh, you have a lot of like 20 year old actors playing high schoolers. In Hannah Montana her brother Jackson is supposed to be 16 when the show starts but in, at that time Jason Earls was in his mid 20s. It is something that has been done before in media but with this film it will be very difficult to find a older actors that look 11 and if the characters in Cuties weren't actually 11 then the story would be different than the one that the director was trying to portray. The biggest question mark that I personally have with the film is this age rating. It has a TVMA American age rating which means it's not suitable for audiences younger than 17 which would make it pretty much equivalent to an English 18 which is quite a high, it's the highest um, age rating and not a lot of popular films have this rating. Not a lot of films, period, have this dating. Because the rating is so high, people have suggested that it's made for the enjoyment of paedophiles because they will be the only people who will be able to watch this rather than young people who are made to like learn from it. But I don't think lo pe young people are meant to watch it anyway because the director herself has said it's not a health and safety ad. But with the age rating, it's important to consider how um, 
normal and explicit things are dealt with by different cultures. In France, where the film is made, it's given a universal rating, whereas in South Korea, it's given a rating of 15. So it shows you that France and South Korea deal with the themes of like sex and nudity, which are the most prominent themes, according to IMDb, in the film. These countries deal with that very differently. When people were complaining about the over-sexualization of these young girls in the film. They were complaining about it as if it was from Hollywood. But, ho but this isn't even from Hollywood, it's from French cinema. That doesn't necessarily erase all the concerns around paedophilia, but it does mean you have to look at it through a different lens. For example, Whiplash, again, was 15 in the UK, but it has a universal age rating in France. So once again, it shows you how different cultures do all things differently. Um, so what may seem quite provocative and like over the top to you, to a French audience, is quite mundane and normal. Even after going through this discussion, you are still allowed not to want to watch the film and to dislike the premise and to dislike child actors in this role. However, you are not then allowed to bully the director off of social media and to leave negative reviews about a film you have not seen. It bothers me when I look up a film and people have left a low review and then say, oh, but I only watched the first 20 minutes. You can't properly critique and comment on a film that you haven't even seen and you've now like messed things up for this director um, because of what social media told you as well as then doing your own thing. Like I said, you can still be mad at the premise, but you can't be mad at the film that you haven't actually seen. And before social media got a hold of um, Cuties, it had a good rating, um, about 80% on Google and IMDb and stuff like that. A lot of people seem to be really proud of themselves for like kind of um, getting Mamuna off social media and like ruining this film for her. Getting her off of social media doesn't combat what you really want, which is um, pedophilia in Hollywood and the over sexualization of young people. I really feel bad for Mamuna because it seemed like she really wanted to create something that show, um, showed the problems with the over sexualization of young people and she seemingly did that well which is why she won an award at Sundance and why Netflix even wanted to show the film originally. But that's completely been ruined and tarnished for her due to bad marketing think on Netflix's part which I truly believe they done in order to be as provocative and outrageous as they possibly could be because people are now compounding their critiques of Hollywood and over sexualization of young girls onto her. My gut instinct when everyone was talking about the film is that you can't like comment on films that you haven't seen and that if I had Netflix I would wait until I'd watch the film to make comments but really and truly you can judge a film by the trailer and the small bit that you know and we do it all the time. I personally have watched several trailers and decided whether or not a movie is worth going to the cinema for. Sometimes I've changed my mind later and other times it's I've been quite accurate. People are completely within their right to not go like not go and see a film based on the little that they know about it. I honestly do think Netflix try to be as outrageous and provocative and um uh I don't know push the envelope as much as they could when marketing this film and have now sadly done Mamuna a disservice as have they done this film in general. But let me know what you think about the controversy surrounding cuties in the comments down below and maybe if you and how much responsibility you think Netflix should take in this situation. Hit like, subscribe and I'll see you next time.